Hey guys, welcome back to the video. <laughs> That's quite funny, the church bells just started ringing. Wonder what time it is. Right, well, here we are outside the lovely St. Mary's Church in Cape Bramwith with my Volkswagen camper van. This is the Type 2 split screen model. It's a 1966 and I'm going to give you guys a little tour around the van on this lovely summer's day because I think summer is officially here now, which is fantastic. And we're gonna go for a little drive, maybe get a coffee. I think it's iced latte weather. No, I'm not sure what you think, but I'm certainly hankering for an iced latte. So we'll start by taking a little tour around the van, have a look inside the van, and then we'll get down the road. Okay, so here we go. This van was imported from California several years ago and I'm the first UK owner and in that time of ownership I've tried to restore this van as best as possible on a I won't say on a budget but just spending my money sort of periodically because a lot of money has gone into this van uh, much like a lot of Volkswagen so uh, <laughs> shout out to anyone who keeps their Volkswagen on the road because I know how difficult it is and I certainly feel your pain and so does my wallet. Anyway, moving on. So this has got the latest style big window at the back. We have a 1600 single port motor in the rear. It's really not gonna light your socks off because this thing is pretty slow, <laughs> but that's all the fun in it, I think. So moving around to the side, as you can see, it's like 50 shades of cream. <laughs> but there we go, you know, these things happen on an old car. Um, it's not had the full restoration treatment just yet with the Prayla Queen paint job, but um, I'm happy with it. I think it's got like a bit of a cool factor to it. So moving into the van, we open the barn door and we have a rock and roll bed, Mexican blanket, side wardrobe with a few supplies for, you know, camping and that kind of thing. We've got extension leads, gas cooker, uh, sun canopy, various things. Some natty little storage nets from Ikea. <laughs> Gotta love Ikea, right? We have a ceiling, which kind of looks like a jacket potato ready to go in the oven, but this is uh, thermal lining soundproofing so I do have a headliner to really finish this van off and in, inside on the roof but we haven't got around to that bit yet we have flower power curtains these are from Mad Mats and they are the Clara style curtain so if you do like these curtains guys I will leave a link in below if they still make them um, what else we got we've got Ply line sides, uh, well I actually say ply, it's birch ply, um, just uh, in a clear coat of varnish. And under here, under the bed, we have some tools, probably a bit overkill really, but what are you gonna do? That's just the luxury of owning a Volkswagen. You don't drive anywhere without a comprehensive toolkit. We have a cool box, which, is currently empty. We have a Kadak gas cooker stove chef thingy majiggy. This is the pizza stone that is the paella pan. I'm going to get some use out of that real soon and I'll go into that a little bit more in a few minutes. 
we have a step because getting in and out of the van is okay but you know it's quite a step i'll kind of give you a bit of a you know it's kind of kind of high so we have a step for that then we have a collapsible bowl lantern uh tapas pots uh what else we got we have all the usual stuff uh minkies you get the you get the gist all the kind of stuff you need to take with you uh so that you can spend a few comfortable days away camping we have coffee yes we love coffee we have a go on this is a cafetiere and then all the other guff you know towels um bowls plates bowls yeah everything so I won't go into too much in that because there's literally millions of pieces and I think once you've seen it once you've probably seen it all so moving around to the front of the van we have again ply line trimmed door cards original seats these are like gold dust especially for a walkthrough model very hard to find so um, i was quite pleased that i managed to uh, find some original split screen seats cup holder for whatever you want really um, two different sizes kind of a bit annoying actually i kind of like both the same but there we go cup holder carpeted throughout I almost forgot to show you what's on the back shelf. We have bedding. This is pillows, duvet. We have a little television there. Uh, we, we, that's okay if you can get a signal. Most of the places you go camping, they're so far off grid, there's just no signal. We have some retro deck chairs and a trusty old fire extinguisher. Spare wheel and cushion so there you go that is a quick tour of a 1966 volkswagen split screen
So guys, we made it to Starbucks and during the drive, I thought, hmm, maybe I'll go for the cold brew. Haven't tried one yet, but apparently it's the thing. Well, they didn't have cold brew, so we circled back to an ice latte, which I must be honest, it is lovely. There's a splash of caramel in this, so uh, it's a bit naughty. Ah, oh, but damn good. So, oh, and I also got a cheeky muffin. Sorry, had to be done. Well, the big news. In two weeks time, so two weeks today, myself and my girlfriend are embarking on what will be an 800, 900 mile round trip to Cornwall in the Volkswagen bus. This is huge. This is bigger than big because the whole time I've been into Volkswagens, dreamed of having a Volkswagen camper van, eventually getting a camper van. The, the dream has been to go to Cornwall. It's just the place to be if you've got a VW bus. So in two weeks time, we're gonna try and make it happen. Now, it's not straightforward. There will probably, probably be issues, given that the vehicle is, you know, so old. But I've, hev I've got every faith in the van and we're just gonna go for it. So we have seven days planned on a campsite overlooking uh, Zenon Beach, Zenon Cove, I believe it is, right down at the bottom of the UK. Well, I'm gonna take you guys along with me because I'm gonna film getting there. Once we're there, we're gonna be doing other things, coffee shops, surfing, that kind of thing. So, well, all hopefully anyway. So stay tuned. Uh, please like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because there will be some really good videos coming your way of that Cornwall trip. So if you're the sort of person who's thinking of getting an old Volkswagen, you know, the, the VW camper vans are very popular, but there are some pros and cons, which we will get into on the next video. So if you're looking at getting a VW, or maybe you haven't yet ventured very far in your VW, well, stay tuned and I will give you some tips, the drawbacks, the everything about VW camper van life, because there's a lot to it. Okay, so um, I hope you have enjoyed this video. I'm going to finish my latte. I'm going to leave you on that bombshell. And if you've liked the video so far, please give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe. And I want to say a massive thank you to everyone who gave the last video a like um, and subscribed to the channel. It was really overwhelming, the reaction the video uh, got on the Triumph Bonneville T100. If you haven't seen that, please do go check it out. Um, I'd really appreciate it. And yeah, let me know what you think in the comment section. So for now, that's me signing off and I'll pick this back up just before we go to Cornwall and I'll show you the van fully loaded with all the camping gear ready for a week away in Cornwall. We'll see you in the next one.